guys, I get this question a lot. Why don't I use Fibafuse tape more often? Or ever, actually, because a lot of people really love this stuff. So let's really quickly talk about some of the perks. All right, first off, it comes in two inch, uh, six inch, and 36 inch rolls. I think it's three foot rolls. And one of the main things that people love about this is that it lays really flat because it's super thin and you can tell if you have enough mud under it or not. So you have to use really thin mud with this stuff, but basically you put the mud on, you put it down into it and you can see the mud going everywhere and through it. And if there's not quite enough mud, you can even add a little bit from the top. So it's really user friendly that way. The fact that it has six inch wide rolls makes it really good for crazy repairs like I had to do the other day, which is why I have a roll. And then also the 36 inch wide rolls are awesome for say like plaster repairs. It does a really good job of shoring up a whole wall, like a nice old cracked plaster wall, the same way people used to use wallpaper. So that's one of the reasons why there's wallpaper on super old plaster walls. It was basically after those walls had already lasted 50 plus years, which is how long good plaster lasts at least. But after those had already lasted a super long time, people put wallpaper on to hold it all together and stop it from falling off the wall. Anyways, getting back to the fiber fuse. So, I mean, there's clearly a lot of pluses and I used it a few times about 10 years ago when it first came out. And I actually did think it was a nice product. Again, I loved how flat it laid down and it, I could, you know, it was really user friendly. I could tell if I had a problem or not. So why did I stop using it? Well, one, it was a really new product and I didn't know if it would actually stand the test of time, right? Paper's been around for a long time. It fails occasionally, but at least we know usually how and when. At least seasoned tapers usually do. But getting back to the fuse. So yeah, I stopped using it for one main reason. The number one reason is it itches your fingers like crazy. And you guys know that I tape with the super taper. So when I'm pulling out tape and I'm not wearing any gloves, then I get the craziest itchiest fingers for like a couple days after. So for that reason alone, I didn't like using Fibafuse. So, you know, of course, like I mentioned, I didn't know if it was gonna stand the test of time, but it seemed solid. When you see this stuff on the wall with mud all around it, it seems really solid. So I did have some faith, but yep, itchy fingers. That's the number one reason I don't use Fibafuse. Okay, and getting back to another thing about how it sits really flat. Yeah, you know, I just don't have problems. Like it's probably half a mil less mud to cover this stuff than say, you know, paper tape. And you guys see the way I tape. I have no problem putting lots of mud on and leaving it really nice and flat. So burying paper tape has never been a problem. But if you have a hard time building joints out super wide, then this stuff might actually be an advantage to you. Anyways, that's it. That's the reason that I don't use Fibafuse. I don't like the itchy fingers. I otherwise think it's a great product, you know, in the right time and place, which is why I bought a roll and used it. So now to keep this video short and stop repeating myself, that's it. That's the end of the video. Itchy fingers. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know in the comments if you've been using Fibafuse, what are your experiences and how much do you like those itchy fingers? Okay, you guys, uh, you got something out of this video, you know? Just like I tell you to feather that edge, feather that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, why not consider it? It's not gonna hurt. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till the next video.